How's it going, y'all? So today we're going to be making a live clock in React with a toggle button that toggles on and off to show today's date. So let's get into it. All right, so first things first, what we're going to do is create a React app. So npx create React app, and I'm going to call it clock app. All right, so once you have that installed, we're actually going to be installing three other things. One is going to be moment.js, the other one is going to be this React live clock and an ant design. Now, all the links for these are going to be in the description below. So let's start installing this. So this is going to be npm install moment dash dash save. Once that is done, we're going to install this. Dash dash save. And once that is done, we're also going to be installing ant design. Dash dash save. All right, so to import ant design, it'll be very simple. Inside of our index.js file, we're going to, at the very bottom, do import and ant d slash dist slash ant d dot css. So this is going to be the CSS portion of everything. And we're also going to create a new folder called components. And create a new file called clock.js and another file called clock.css and right here inside our app.js I'm going to get rid of this logo and I'm going to import component get rid of this function app do class app extends component and right under here we'll do render go to the very bottom right here return get rid of this content right in here and we'll just do clock and it won't work right now because we haven't imported anything into here so I'm just going to copy all this code and import it right into here and I'll get rid of this we'll do class clock let's do time instead and get rid of this I'll do an h3 that says connected just so that we have we know that they're connected together and right in our app.js we'll just import it so the import clock from dot slash components slash clock oops there we go save it and let's run it and see what if it actually works all right, so we have everything connected. That concludes the setup of the application. Now we're actually going to work inside our clock.js file and get everything uh, ready so that we can have our live time and dates being toggled on and off. So let's get into it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to import clock from React Live Clock. And that's why I wanted to change the time of heat, uh, from clock to time because then that would have interfered and wouldn't work anymore. And I'm also going to import switch from ant design. And I'm also going to import moment from moment. As well as import dot slash clock dot CSS. Save that. Nothing should break because we haven't even used it. And right in here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this example right here inside the npm for react live clock and I'm going to copy his exact example right here this one right here the format how he does it and paste it in right here save that application All right, I just had to reset the application because it wouldn't load. But when we do import this right here, we're going to see our time. But this is not our exact time. For the area that I'm at right now, I would change this to MST. And I'm going to change the format since this is from Moment.js. I'm going to do just H, M, M, S, S, and an A. So it goes hours, minutes, seconds. And I'm assuming that it's, there we go, 2.13. That's the right time. And now we can see that it's live. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna worry about making a toggle button. So right above this, I'm gonna make a div, and I'll call a class name, and I'll give it a toggle button. And inside of there, we're going to do switch 
confirm ant design. Save that, let's see if that would appear. So we have that working. Now what we're gonna do is every single time that it toggles on, it'll show the date. Every time it toggles off, it won't show anything. So we're gonna give it a on click function of this dot toggle switch. And we haven't made this function yet, so let's do that right now. Right here, I'll do a constructor props super props this dot state is equal to I'm gonna give it a curly brace and inside of there I'll do today's date and I'll do false so this is gonna be set as false originally so it doesn't show anything because the toggle button is gonna be automatically off and right underneath here we're gonna make a function called toggle switch and I'll do this dot set state and this will just automatically switch between um, true and false. So today's date and not this dot state dot today's date. Save that. All right, so right now nothing's gonna happen because we haven't applied the actual function um, to any content. So what we'll do is create another div right here. Oops. Div and I'll give it a class name of toggle date. Inside of there, I'm going to do this dot state dot today's date. Turn your operator. So moment dot format. This will be today's date. So mmm do y y y else nothing. So we save that. Oh, I should change this to n. There we go. Save it. Let's see if this works. There we go. So now we toggle on and off. We can see the today's date when we toggle it on and not when we toggle it off. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're done with the functionality portion of our application. We can toggle the dates on and off. Now we're gonna focus on the CSS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this div right here and I'm gonna actually put our switch button inside of a nav bar. So I'll make another div. I guess I could have just renamed it, but I'm just gonna call it nav bar and I'm gonna put the switch right inside of it, right there. And I'll give it a title of react clock. Save that and see if what we see, perfect. Now we're gonna go into our clock.css and I'm going to I'm going to start off with editing the nav bar. So it'll be very simple. So I'm gonna dot call the nav bar class name and I'll give it a background of five two five two five two. And I guess I'll put it right here. So font font size. I'll do fifty two pixels. And I'll do color white. So this is going to change the text color itself. Perfect. Uh, where's my mouse? There we go. Now it doesn't look perfect, but we'll we'll edit that later on. All right. So now let's do the toggle date. So let's do toggle date, and I'll do a font size of fifty-four pixels. Save that, see so what we see when we do that. Perfect. Just got to make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to do toggle and switch. This is where we're going to put this at the very edge right here and make it a little bit in the middle. So it'll be float right and margin uh, top of 2em. Save that. Refresh. Toggle and switch. Oh, whoops, toggle dot and switch. Well, you know work. Oh, I've already given it a class name. Oops. So class name is equal to toggle. Save that. There we go. Now it's at the very edge. Now it's looking a little bit better. All right. So now let's make our time look a lot better, a lot cleaner. So what I'm going to do is inside our clock.js, I'm going to actually put the time itself into its own div. So I'll do div and put it underneath it right there. And I'll give it a class name of time. Save that. And now let's go into our CSS and I want to do class time. Now there's a lot of CSS for this, um, but I'm just going to copy and paste it. It will be in the description below. So you can just copy and paste it from there. And we see it's a little bit above here. To target the actual time, we're actually going to do time instead of dot time. So it's not a class name, it's the actual, uh, actual tag. And I'm going to copy the CSS for that. 
to save that. And now we see that it's exactly in the middle. And if we were to toggle this, we see that the date is now being toggled. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned lots. We learned how to use Terminator operators, um, use uh, Moment.js, React Live Clock, and Ant Design. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.